Okay, now carefully look at it. Now, now look at this. Uh, so o, o is leading now. Red color is current. Blue color is what voltage? So what is the phase of current? Zero. The phase of voltage is non-zero, no? So therefore, here voltage leaves the current, or current lags the voltage. The, the first option is what I just picked up. Current lags the voltage. Uh, able to make notice of this. You, you, you see this zero phase current, and and look at this, the voltage. Here it is at t equals zero. It is having some phase, no? So therefore, the voltage leaves the current, or better say, current lags the voltage. So I'll, I'll put it voltage. Is the current or either way, and then uh, after this, with this is asking some conditions here. No, the given circuit within RLC circuit only for that is showing. Now with I think with this much of data, let's write some equations so so that we can do something. So expression for current is equal to I naught sine omega t. What is omega? Time taken to complete one cycle, twenty milliseconds from the graph, twenty milliseconds time period. Let me write it here. Data. So omega equal to two pi by t. Pi by ten radians per second. Uh, what is maximum value of I naught? Four hundred milliampere. Four hundred or zero point four into sine of. This expression for current. So similarly, V is equal to maximum voltage is how much? 200. So 200 volt. Okay, yeah, only 200 volt. 200 sine. That phase angle is what we have to calculate. So how to get that phase angle? At t equals zero, we'll go for it. What is the value V? There it is under it. So one by two. So phase angle is pi by six. So as, as the circuit contains a resistor, inductor, and capacitor. So what is the tan phi? Should be equal to There's a one equation. So tan 60, tan pi by 6 equal to xl minus xc by r. So there's a one equation. Now, do we know the impedance of circuit? We know VRMS, IRMS. So what is the impedance equal to? Applied voltage VRMS by IRMS. So what is the VRMS? 200 by root 2. What about IRMS? 0 0.5 by root 2. Find ohm. What is the use of impedance? So if you know impedance, then you can write R square plus XL minus XC whole square. So what all we have to find out? We have to get even R L C also. So there's a one equation what we have. I think from this equation, so solving these two equation one and two, X L minus X C I'll substitute R by, and this will be one by root three. One more equation will write.
So I'll, uh, I know impedance, so I'll get the value of R. After getting value of R, I'll get XL and XC. Okay, after getting XL and XC, how to get the value of L and C? Get the relationship. Only relationship is what will get it here. Because any other information, XL minus XC will be R by root 3 whole square. Let me solve it. At least uh, let me find out the value of R. Hmm, okay, no. Uh, Z equal to find it. R will come outside. Uh, this will be 2 by root 3. Two fifty root 3 ohm. Then then substitute that value here. Check for relationship that one. If XL equal to this much, L is equal to this capacity reactance, how much inductive reactance? So this XL minus XC is equal to 250. So we, we can get some conditions what are given. And then what about average power? Can we say anything about average power? I think we know the RMS value of current so what is average power? What are the what are all various formulas? Huh? 